Welcome one and all. In this video, we are going to have a brief overview about ECUs. The term ECU may be used to refer to an engine control unit. However, ECU also refers to an electronic control unit, which is a component of any automotive mechatronic system, not just for the control of an engine. Quite simply put, ECU is a device that controls all electronic features in a car. This may range from fuel injection to maintaining perfect cabin temperature to controlling braking and suspension. Some vehicles have multiple ECUs controlling different features, while some have a single one controlling everything. Today's vehicles may contain 100 ECUs or more, controlling functions that range from the essentials, such as engine and power steering control, to comfort such as power seats, power windows, and automatic climate control, to security and access features such as door locks and keyless entry systems. ECUs also control passive safe safety features such as airbags and even basic active safety features such as automatic emergency braking. Types of ECU With vehicles having multiple ECU, they are divided on what tasks they perform. Some of these types are as follows. Engine control module. With its sensors, the ECM ensures the amount of fuel and ignition timing necessary to catch the most power and economy out of the engine. Brake control module. Used in vehicles with ABS, BCM makes sure that the wheels are not skidding and determine when to trigger the braking and let go of the brake to ensure the wheels don't lock up. Transmission control module. Used on an automatic vehicle, the TCM ensures you get the smoothest shifts possible by assessing the engine RPM and acceleration of the car. Telematic control module. This module ensures the car onboard services are up and running. It controls the satellite navigation and internet and phone connectivity of the vehicle. Suspension control module. Present in cars with active suspension systems, the suspension control module ensures the correct ride height and optimal changes to suspension depending on the driving condition. Although the term ECU refers to electronic control unit, in the automotive industry, the term ECU is often used to refer to an engine control unit or an engine control module. If this unit controls both engine and transmission, it is often described as a power control module or PCM. Fundamentally, the ECU controls the injection of the fuel and in petrol engines, the timing of the spark to ignite it. It determines the position of engine internals using crankshaft position sensor so that the injectors and ignition system are activated at precisely the correct time. Let us have a brief overview of the history of ECUs that are used for engine control. In the 1970s, ECUs started out simply controlling a couple of sol solenoids on carburetors to make them function more effectively. Some started controlling mixture at idle speeds. In the 1980s, with the introduction of fuel injection, the ECU took on a new role of being completely responsible for the fuel and ignition management of petrol engines. In the 1990s, the ECUs were now handling vehicle security. It was also beginning to appear on diesel engines, which played no small part in the success of the turbo diesel engine over the next couple of decades. By the 2000s, the adoption of drive-by-wire throttle control, turbocharger control, and numerous emission systems all were under the tight control of the ECU. By the 2000s, the adoption of drive-by-wire throttle control, turbocharger control, and numerous emission systems all were under the tight control of the ECU. Over the past decade, the ECU now has full control over the combustion of the mixture, the opening of the throttle, the cooling system, and emission systems. It can have 
more than a hundred inputs and output and is part of a network of dozens of other electronic control units within the vehicle. Hybrid systems rely on communication with the ECU to function, while driving assistance features communicate to take control of the engine demand where necessary. Thank you.